Hello, in this video I want to show you some use cases for SMART. SMART is a package to serve images in a simple way and it's also a package to make uh, downloading of files very simple. Okay, let's start. The first thing I will do is serving an image like everyone knows how to serve an image. We serve an image in a public path. Okay, that's the image, very simple. That image is 800 pixels uh, on 800 pixels and is 76 kilobytes of size. Okay, what now? We will resize the image without smart. I want to make it smaller without changing my source. So we enable this code and we look what happens. We have a smaller image, okay, so far so good. The image is smaller, but the intrinsic size is still 800 pixels and its file size is still 76 kilobyte. Well, okay, that might be a problem, but for now we don't care. But what if we use a bigger image? I have a bigger image here and I resize it. So the image is 200 pixels uh, in width and the rendered size, but its intrinsic size is 2600 pixels. So that file is 445 kilobytes big. That might be a bigger problem, but because if we have 25 images on our screen that are resized that way, we have a payload of more than 10 megabytes. So we need a solution. Now let's see what happens with smart. When we use smart, we provide, we use an xsmart image tag. We give it the source, the same as here, smart.png. We tell the width and the data source is an attribute that we, that we can use to give it a specific uh, name. So let's see what happens. The image is resized, it's here, but its rendered size is 200 pixels. So instead of 800 pixels as intrinsic size, we have a file of 200 pixels. The file is also only 12 kilobytes, where this file is 76 kilobytes. Okay, good, but what happens with the big image? Let's see. As you can see, the big, uh, big image is resized and it's only 9.4 kilobytes. So this big one is 445 kilobytes. This big one is 9.4 kilobytes. So if we have 25 of these images on our screen, we only have about 230 kilobytes. Uh, so that's 9.8 megabytes less. You can also see, if you look good, that the render is more crispy. It's a sharp image. Um, so that's also better. Okay, that's our first use case for smart. Now, let's change the look and feel of our image. I want the image to be rotated. Okay, fine. With CSS, it's rotated, transformation. It's rotated, but it's still too big in file size. And we have a CSS applied to it. And we also have a little side effect. If you look here and we measure how big it is, you see because of the rotation, it's actually getting higher. Okay, let's see how this is handled with smart. To accomplish that with smart, we have to assign a template to the image. So here is the template, it's rotated. And the template is defined in a config file in an array. So the rotated template, what does it do? It rotates the image uh, minus 45 degrees. It resizes the image at 100 pixels, 
maintaining the aspect ratio and it also sharpens the image a little bit. As you can see, you can apply several methods on images. The, they are in fact all the image intervention uh, methods available. Okay, let's take a look. So the rotated template is applied and if we go and look to our image, it's rotated. You can see it, the rendered size is also 100 uh, times 100. So if we create a gallery with images, uh, they will be all the same height. Uh, you can also see that the file size is only 2.7 kilobytes. Here it's still 76 kilobytes. Okay, our next use case. Let's apply an advanced example. Let's go crazy. Um, we will apply the crazy template and what does that do? It will grayscale, or grayscale my image, resize it to 500 pixels, insert a watermark, rotate it 5 degrees and encode that image as WebP. Okay, let's see. Here it is. We have a rotated image. There is a watermark applied, it's resized, and it's only 29 kilobytes. So it's a real resize of the image, maintaining the source file, but it is served as a totally new file to your browser. Okay, that were images that are publicly available so they are available and served by a web server but what about files uh, or images you want to show in your browser that are not in a public pod but are stored in for example an s3 bucket uh, let's see what happened without smart we assign a source to that image uh, with a disk s3 and the image we want to serve is smart okay No, what happens, we see nothing. The source is unknown, that is, that's because your web server cannot access this uh, image. It is stored in an inaccessible pod for your web server. This can easily be solved with smart, with a data disk. So here with xsmart image tag, a data disk is tree and the source another big applying a template crazy. So this image will be fetched from an S3 um, disk and served to your browser. Okay, that's this image. As you can see, the template is applied to that image and is served as a new image. Okay, let's go a little further and see you can also serve images from a storage pod uh, you can uh, assign sources to mounts and so on you can serve it from everywhere we will serve now from the storage pod and also apply the crazy template okay so this image comes out of my storage and has the crazy template applied showing this watermark rotating and making it gray. Okay, that were use cases for the smart image tag. Let's go over to some use cases for the download uh, smart tag. So without smart, if you want to serve or download an image that is not uh, public accessible for your web server, like files in your storage, it's impossible to do. You have to write your own portion of PHP code to retrieve that file, get the content and serve it back to your browser. Now, with XSmart download, we can go further and that disk files can be read. So we have three examples. Now we have the default example showing a download link with a default uh, text that is configurable uh, in the config we have a download with a slot 
So here you can specify whatever you want. That can be a button, that can be a link, that can be whatever you want. Or even better, we can apply, we can use images that are generated with XSmart image uh, as input of the slot. So we will see an image with a download link on it. Let's see, this is the default. This is the text we specified in our slot. And this is the image we used in our slot. If we click on it, it gets downloaded as another big. It's the source file we retrieve from the S3 bucket. Okay, that was it for smart. It was a little bit struggling with 76 and 67, but uh, I've made it. If you like this content, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.